In this video we're going to look at plan and elevations of a different shape. What the plan is and the front and side elevation, they are all different perspectives on the same 3D shape. I've just drawn a shape here and what we're going to do is we're going to look at its plan and front and side elevations. First of all let's look at front and side elevations. The front elevation would be the perspective if you were looking from the angle at the front. I like to think of it as a building and we're standing at the front and we need to think what would we see. This is the front elevation from the direction of this arrow. Which boxes, which sides of the box would we see? Well, you're not going to be able to see the roof or the sides of the building. I reckon you're just going to be able to see the parts highlighted, the front sections of the building, those four blocks. So if you were asked in the exam to draw a front elevation, you would draw the box like so. Um, and four going four across, if they gave you a grid, and going one up on the side, like roughly like so. That's what it looks like from the front. This is the front elevation coming from that angle. Right, what would the side elevation be? Let's get rid of these uh, boxes here that kind of give away what it is at the front. And now let's look at the side elevation. Well, which direction is the side? The side could actually be either direction uh, coming from the side, so it could be this direction or it could also be the direction coming from the right, so this direction. Both of those directions would look the same actually, just if you're drawing it as a side elevation. Imagine you're standing over here and you're looking at the building from that side. Let's draw a little picture. So you're standing here there we are. There's a little drink in your hand. There's a little skateboard. And we're standing here and we're looking at the building. Which sides of the boxes would you see? Which side of the building would you see? Would you see this top side? No, we wouldn't. So that's not going to be in our diagram. What about these sides along here? If you think about it, if you're standing at the front, you wouldn't actually see those sides. You'd only see the front sides if you're looking from the side, so these two blocks. If you're drawing that as a diagram, it would look something like this, just two blocks going up. That's all you'd see from the side. And actually, it's all you'd see from the left-hand side as well. You'd see that side of the box that we can't quite draw on here. If I just make it 3D, you can see which one I'm talking about. We'd see that side here. Let's fill it in yellow. And we'd also see the side that you can't see along here. But the point is, it would be the exact same from either side. Both of those would be the side elevation of the shape. Okay, so you'd see two boxes and it would be a two box high diagram as I've drawn. Finally, perhaps the hardest one, the plan. Many students don't know what the plan means. What the plan basically means is the view as if you were from a plane, a bird's eye view. If you're looking at this building from directly above, which sides would you see? You would see not the side of the building, like so, because you couldn't see that if you're looking directly from above. Or the other sides, the right-hand side, you couldn't see that from above. What you'd see are only the top blocks, one, two, three, four, and viewed from the top, they would just be one long straight line. You wouldn't even see that this block on the right is taller than the ones on the left. You'd see a long row of four blocks looking like that. Now what we can do is practice with another shape 
but with this central main shape this is the way you can capture all the different ideas of side elevation, front elevation and plan all in one shape. I hope it's given you an introduction to the topic and we're going to look at one more shape before we're done. Just in the corner down here. How about if we had a shape that looks something like this going along here, let's not fill it in anymore, and going like so along the side, and then if we make it 3D so that it goes back along here, and along here, and I love drawing 3D shapes, and down here, and across, and across down here, and just to make it seem like it's made up of cubes, we can draw a couple of lines going along, like so. There we go. Now, what would, if I skip straight to the hard ones, what would the side elevation look like? So the view from the side along here. Either side, again, would be the same, but what would the side elevation be? Again, I think we'd only see two blocks. The two blocks would see for the side elevation would be this block and this block. So the side elevation would look something like this. Two blocks tall. What would the front elevation look like if you were standing at the front? So in this case, it's going off the page a bit, but uh, standing at the front here with the arrow coming down. I think you would see only three blocks. I think you'd see these two and the block to the right. Imagine you were standing there at the front of that building. You couldn't actually see any of the other sides. So the front elevation, if you were drawing it, would look something like two blocks tall and one block to the right, like so. Finally, the one the students find the hardest, the plan, the plan of the shape. What does plan mean again? It means the view from the top, so from a bird's eye view, not even at an angle like that, it's directly down like so. What would the view from a plane be of this shape? I find it useful to highlight those blocks that I think I would see. Would I see these two or this one? Not directly from the top, not from a bird's eye view. I would only see the top two blocks, the roof of the building. And so if I was drawing it in a diagram, I would draw something like this, going two blocks wide. And that's an introduction to plans, front and side elevations of 3D shapes.